Okay, so what we're looking for in the silage fermentation is for the sugars to be very efficiently turned into an acid. And if, if we can do that efficiently, we won't produce poor, weak acids that are using sugars to produce and they're, they're, the bugs are producing things that we don't want in a clamp, okay? So when we look at a silage clamp, what we want, you know, is a nice, you know, nice sort of smell, not too strong. Um, this is lovely stuff. I've been handling quite a bit today. I've got no lingering smell on my hands. So that's always a good sign of a silage, good lactic silage. Um, but actually, when we look at a silage, we don't really know what fermented that. On the best silages, untreated, the dry matter losses are gonna be somewhere around eight to 10%. Where we treat, we reduce that by about half. So we, you know, we get about four or 5% dry matter losses. And where these losses come in are here. When we use Ecosyl, we're putting a million homofermentative bacteria which all they do, a homofermentative product does one thing. And it turns sugars into lactic acid and zero dry matter waste. Very efficient and virtually no energy loss. Where we have things like enterobacteria, slurry bacteria, they're turning sugar into acetic, ethanol and other things. And there's a 40% dry matter loss. We're going to have slurry on our silage or the grass when we harvest it, almost certainly. There's probably going to be some soil, and so we've potentially got some clusterial activity there as well. Uh, and we will have just naturally environmental sort of bacteria, you know, fields aren't sterile areas, there's going to be bacteria there. These bacteria will take away large amounts of dry matter, and when we're talking about taking away large amounts of dry matter, largely what they're taking is sugar. These bacteria eat the sugar, create byproducts that are not, not pleasant and not wanted generally in the clamp. Um, so they're just costly waste to produce something that we don't want. If it's not an excellent silage, the dry matter losses can be massively more. But on a good silage, eight to 10% losses, if we treat with Ecosyl, because we drop the pH very quickly, we stop these guys having much chance to work, we halve these losses. So they have a very short window in which to take anything away. And by using Ecosyl, dropping the pH quickly, we save about half the dry matter. And that is on a good silage. On a poor silage, the dry matter losses can be massively more. And this silage, this is um, a forage wagon silage. It's around about, um, it's around about 30% dry matter. And if we just do a little pH test on this, just to sort of see where we are on a pH. And on a 30% dry matter silage, we want a pH somewhere around about 4, 4.1, I suppose. And if we look at this, yeah, we're probably more or less bang on 4.1 there, which is ideal for this type of silage.